go to file open and select the model image open this in photoshop so this is our model image so first of all we need to cut out the model from this background now click on the quick selection tool and now start making a selection of this model once the selection is done now click on select and mask now in the view mode you have a lot of option i'm gonna select on black now in the opacity increase this in 100 percent now take the second brush from here refine edge brush now start refining the edges like the here here in these settings give a little bit of smooth and a little bit of contrast in the output setting tick this decontaminate color and output to new layer now hit on ok now as you can see the background is completely removed and our model is in a different layer now double click of this layer and change this layer name to model and this is our original background keep this as a backup now we need to add the background click on this adjustment layer and select solid color now select completely black as a background now place this just below the model layer and you can give a name to this like background now I'm gonna expanding the canvas take the crop tool from here and and make the canvas bigger from here and here a little bit so here a little bit so I'm I'm happy with this result now confirm it now we need to add the lights now create a new layer from here and name this layer to lights Now keep this layer just below the model layer. Now select this light layer and select the brush tool and the foreground color has to be white. Now right click of your mouse and select a soft round brush, regular brush. Make sure that the opacity and the flow both are 100% now make the brush bigger really really big and just make a click here now select the light layer and press ctrl t and you can adjust the lights make sure that the lights is covered his face so I'm happy with this now confirm it now select the model layer now we need to match this subject with this background now select the model layer and change this blend mode normal to soft light as you can see the subject is completely matched with the background but we can see the subject properly now select this model layer and press ctrl J to duplicate this layer as you can see the subject is pop now select the model copy layer and press ctrl U to open the hue and saturation layer now desaturate this 
hit on okay now we need to make the subject sharpen now select the model copy layer and press ctrl j again and you can give a name to this layer like sharp sharpness okay now select this sharpness layer and go to filter other hypers and put the radius uh, 3 and hit on ok now change this plan mode vivid light as you can see so this is before blur and this is after now let's hold shift and select the three model layers and press ctrl j and make a group and you can give a name to this model now everything is under this model group now i'm gonna apply the the snow and the bokeh effect now go to file place embedded now select the bokeh texture from here and place this rotate this and make it really big so that it it cover the canvas okay now confirm this now change this blend mode normal to screen as you can see but it is too much i don't need decrease the opacity like really too much mm, 15 percent okay now go to file place embedded again now this time select the snow texture place this now rotate this and make it bigger confirm it and change this blend mode screen now decrease the opacity mm, i think this one 30 percent good enough now select both this layer and press ctrl j now you can give a name to texture okay now select this texture group and add a layer mask now select the mask and take the brush make sure that the foreground color is black now delete this effect from the his face okay now we will play with the colors now before that i'm gonna add little bit of contrast click this adjustment layer and choose carp and this is for the contrast make a dot here and here now increase the highlights a little bit and decrease the shadow a little bit now close this as you can see now we will play with the colors now click here and choose carps again and this is for color purpose so first decide which color you want to apply i'm gonna select the blue make a dot here and one here so i am i want the lights to be yellow and the shadows just blue so take down this slider a little bit to apply the yellow effect to the highlights and increase this slider to apply a blue effect to these shadows you can play with different color hit on ok now as you can see before and after you can play with different color like you can apply a color balance layer to this and you can switch to highlights highlights are the lights so you can play with any color you want 
and shadows are the darken area you can use blue you can play with cyan you can play with green it's up to you so this is before and this is after so now make visible the original background layer and hold alt and you can see the before and the after so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe thank you